skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Disney-inspired nail looks. So today, the character we are going to be inspired by is Huey Duck. So with Huey Duck, there is only three colors we are using. Uh, white, red, and orange or yellow for the feet. So with this picture, um, it's a little trickier because, you know, normally we do the five colors for the five fingernails. Well, in this case, we're going to have to kind of figure something out. So it's funny in trying to find that picture, most of it, like most of the pictures I saw was from like the new DuckTales stuff. And I didn't want that. I wanted like the classic Huey Duck. So in looking at this, he has a red baseball cap, white feathers, orange beak, red shirt, and yellow feet. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Red, white, red, white, yellow, red, yellow. I think that'll work. Okay, so we're gonna start with the red, which we are using this vibrant red yet again. <laughs> and we're gonna put that uh, first on my thumb. All right, now we're gonna do the other thumb. When I was younger, people had always asked me how I was able to do my own nails because I'm a righty and not a lefty, and I told him eh, it just takes practice. Sometimes the left or the right hand can get a little messed up, but nine times out of ten, it actually works out fairly well. And you know, with the practice that I've had, it's you know over time it actually got a lot easier to do my nails. But uh, once I started working at Knotts, um, I kind of stopped because they had like a for a while they had a strict uh, nail color code. That was up until they kind of, uh, they like loosened the rules a bit and, you know, people were, were able to have like kooky nail colors and hair color and all that fun stuff. Even then I still stopped. I haven't painted my nails in God knows how long. I, I think I only started back up really when quarantine started. But anyways, that is the red for the thumbs for his hat. And now we're going to do white for the feathers on my index finger. And of course, this is the white we have been using. Same brand. Okay, we're gonna go to the right hand. You know what I figured I'd do instead? I'll do red for the cap, white for the feathers, red for the shirt, white for the lower half, and then orange, or in this case, gold for my pinkies for his little feet. I think that'd look a lot better. Now we're doing the second coat. Second coat again. There we go, white for his feathers. And now we are going to do red again on the middle finger for his red shirt. Gonna use the same red color we used for the cap. Other hand, okay, second coat, other hand. Okay, and we are gonna put the red away. Ta-da, so that is red for his shirt. Now we're gonna do white again for his little feather tail. We're gonna use the same white that we used uh, for his cute little feather head. All right, other hand. Now we're gonna do a second coat. Other hand, and ta-da, those are the, that's the white for his little tail feathers. Finally, on the pinky, we are going to do gold for his cute little duck waddle feet. Second coat, awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna put a top coat on and then I will show you guys the final results. All right guys, and this is the final result for Huey Duck. I thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons, stay safe, and I love you guys.